Hi everyone, this is M.A. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very easy stripe handbag. So let's get started. To make this easy bag, you can use any size purse handles. You can also use any size yarn and any size hook. So to begin, you're going to start with a slip knot and work a foundation chain that is the width of your purse handles. Like that, I have a foundation chain that is going to be the correct size for these purse handles. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. And slip stitch to join, like that. Now I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to double crochet in every stitch all the way around. If you want a more dense bag, you could single crochet. So I'm just going to go ahead and double crochet all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Chain two and turn. I always turn because it's easier to insert the hook into the stitch. Double crochet again, yarn around the hook. And double crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And you'll keep repeating that over and over until your purse is as long as you would like it to be. And you could do it in a solid color or you can change colors as I did in this gray and black one. And I have one here that I worked in a velvet yarn and I only changed color one time. And when you have the purse as long as you would like it to be, then you're going to work across the bottom and you're going to slip stitch to join all the way across the bottom. And to slip stitch to join, insert the hook on one side, then insert the hook through the stitch on the opposite side, and then pull the yarn straight through like that. You work all the way across the bottom of the bag, slip stitching to join all the way across like that. So all the way across. I made this purse a little bit larger, so I just passed my purse handles through with these two stitches here, and then I would just take a needle and yarn and just stitch them again to attach them permanently so they don't slide out. And I have some shoelaces here, and I passed some beads on the ends, and then I just passed it through some stitches here on the front, and I'll tie those in a bow just for decoration. If you would like to line your purse, I have a video on how to line a purse, and I'll put the link below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.